This is your WFHR Daily News Roundup for locally grown radio 97.5 FM and 1320 AM and West Country 105.5 FM WIRI in Wisconsin Rapids. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Wisconsin voters say no to two questions to amend the state constitution. Melissa Kay reports. The executive branch will retain the sole power to execute all federal funds as it has since 1930. This means when federal funds are directed to the state, the governor has the power to accept them and get those funds quickly to where they are most needed. I'm Melissa Kay, Civic Media News. Rebecca Cook is the winner in the 3rd Congressional District Democratic primary in western Wisconsin. James Kelly reports. Cook faced off against Katrina Shankland and Eric Wilson on Tuesday for the right to take on Congressman Derek Van Orden in the general election this November. Her campaign focused on her lived experience as a former small business owner and growing up on a dairy farm to relate to voters. Civic Media's James Kelly reporting. Tony Weed is the winner in northeast Wisconsin's 8th U.S. House seat Republican primary. Lisa Hale reports. Weed faced off against State Senator Andre Jacques and former State Senator Roger Roth in two elections for the 8th Congressional District. One was for the remainder of Congressman Mike Gallagher's current term, which in January. The other was for a full term. Tony Weed will be the one to face Democrat Kristen Lierly on the November 5th ballot. I'm Lisa Hale. One hiccup in Wisconsin on primary election day, voters in the Douglas County town of Summit had the wrong assembly district on their ballots. Wisconsin Elections Commission Administrator Megan Wolf says there's nothing in state law about what happens next. So the county clerk, the municipal clerk, and the uh, ballot canvassers, the chief inspectors, they're all going to have to work together in part of a public process to figure exactly what the, the best course of action is going to be here. The mistake affects no more than about 700 voters. Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance will campaign in Milwaukee Friday. Democratic Vice President Kamala Harris plans to rally in Milwaukee next Tuesday. They campaigned in Eau Claire last week. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Here's what you need to know closer to home. For WFHR and WIRI News, I'm Melissa Kay. Unofficial election results are in after voters went to the polls yesterday. In the newly drawn 86th Assembly District, incumbent John Spiros received over 43% of the vote to Donna Roser's 31.7%. Spiros has served in that district for the past 12 years. The High Ground in Nielsville will host this year's Male Veterans Retreat in September. Veterans are invited to attend September 27th through the 29th. The weekend will focus on mindfulness, meditation, and meaningful connections. Veterans can relax and unwind while the High Ground Retreat staff take care of food and lodging. There will be team-building activities to promote collaboration, communication, and trust among veterans. Activities could include archery or equestrian therapy. Registration is required and space is limited. You can call 715-743-4224 for more details. Police are looking for two people who trespassed and stole from a property in the town of Richfield. The Adams County Sheriff's Office said on Sunday, August 11th, two individuals entered a building in the 200 block of Cottonville Avenue. The same two suspects trespassed on the property earlier in the month. You can see pictures on the Adams County Sheriff's Office Facebook page. If you have any information or can identify the suspects, you can contact Deputy McCormick at 608-339-3304. A section of County Highway T will be closed intermittently today. Wood County Highway Department crews are patching pavement on County Highway T between U.S. Highway 10 and County Highway N. Culverts were replaced this spring and summer, and paving crews will be working to patch those areas. Please avoid the area so crews can complete their work by 4 p.m. today. Our customer appreciation party is happening in the WFHR WIRI parking lot today from noon to 6. You can stop down and spin to win fun station prizes. Bring the kids to try out different radio jobs, see animals from our municipal zoo, and buy lunch or dinner at El Taco Social Food Truck. The Wood County Health Department will be there with information, as well as our friends from the VFW and Edge VR. That's noon to 6 today at the Roundabout. If you missed cops at Culver's yesterday, you can find them on a rooftop on Friday. The Marshfield Police Department will be up on Duncan's roof from 6 a.m. to noon on August 16th. They're raising money for Special Olympics in Wisconsin. 
The Riverfront Art Center opening reception for The Animal is next Thursday from 4.30 to 7 p.m. The display reflects the power and elegance of animals August 22nd through October 13th. The three-way Democratic primary in the 3rd Congressional District ended with Rebecca Cook in the lead with close to 50 percent of the vote. Katrina Shanklin trailed with 42 percent and Eric Wilson 9 in the unofficial vote tally. Rebecca Cook will face Derek Van Orden in the November election as he runs for a second term. At this point in the race, Van Orden has raised twice the amount of campaign funds as Cook. The deadline has been extended for the teen summer reading at Macmillan Library. You have until tonight to turn in your paper game boards to get credit for your summer reading. The deadline is 8 p.m. on August 14th. You may want to turn them in before the teen glow foam party that starts at 6.30. Dance the evening away with a DJ and glow-in-the-dark body paint for your face and arms. Wear white or neon colors over your swimsuit for more fun. And that's what you need to know. I'm Melissa Kay, WFHR and WIRI News. The Dodgers beat the Brewers again. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. L.A. Shohei Otani hit his 37th home run of the year in a 7-2 win over the Brewers at American Family Field. Otani now leads the National League in home runs. A rough night for the Brewers starting pitcher Colin Ray, who gave up all of the Dodgers seven runs and six innings of work. The Brewers have lost three in a row. Manager Pat Murphy says his team is sputtering right now. NFL experts keep asking, do the Packers really have a true number one receiver right now? Matt LaFleur had this to say. I I get like, I want to vomit every time I hear number one receiver, to be honest with you. It drives me crazy. I feel like we got a bunch of them. So I think the beauty of them is they're all capable of doing many things, which gives us a lot of versatility from an offensive perspective in terms of how we use these guys and deploy their talents. They're all capable of being a number one in some capacity. That's Packers head coach Matt LaFleur. We're sports. I'm Mike Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. Nick Cannon says he would love to get back together with his first and only wife, Mariah Carey. And he told E! News they belong together. The problem? He says she doesn't want him. The couple divorced in 2016 after eight years of marriage. Cannon is the host of several shows, including The Masked Singer. But despite a crazy busy schedule, he still found time to sire most of the children born in America over the last two decades, including two with Carrie. Fans of Colin Jost's Wiki feed page will have to wait for some new material. The SNL cast member was covering the Olympic surfing competition when he cut his foot on a coral reef and developed a staph infection, which then became an ear infection. Injury aside, the news from Tahiti wasn't all bad for Jost. While recuperating, it was announced he will host the new Jeopardy spinoff, where foot injuries are few and far between. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Pete Schwaba, weeknights from 7 to 9 p.m. on the Civic Media radio network sunny this morning with clouds increasing this afternoon we'll get into the low 80s for a high today with wind out of the south at 5 to 15 showers and thunder showers tonight tomorrow into tomorrow night some locally heavy rainfall amounts of an inch or more possible our high tomorrow in the low 70s scattered rain will continue through thursday into friday i'm meteorologist sean cable temperature now 67 that's your wfhr and wiri daily news roundup from civic media Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at WFHR.com or Wiscountry. That's W-I-S-Country.com.